good day. Such a wonderful time to be alive. I'm glad and I'm happy to be here with you today. And it's such a great time to be alive. I'm happy. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad that you are here today with us. We call it such a scripture, you call it Sunday school. Either way it goes, it is such a time to dig deep into the Bible. The Bible also tells us in the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 11, it said, the Christians in, in, in Berea were more noble than those in Thessalonica because they searched the scripture to see what Paul has said, whether it be so. Jesus said in John chapter 5, verse 39, he said, searching the scripture daily. So we're going to search the scripture today. We're going to check into the Bible. And the topic before us today is fulfilling purpose. Fulfilling purpose. I'm not going to be doing this alone. You're going to be together with us. But I have a great guest in the house. And we're going to share it together as time goes on. See you after this break. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm glad you're still tuned in to this channel. And today we're going to be having, a, we're going to be discussing a topic that is so vibrant, so relevant, so interesting to every human being that lives, especially Christians. The topic is fulfilling purpose. Fulfilling purpose is our topic. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of the whole uh, discussion, I want to take the memory verse. The memory verse of today is taken from the book of John, chapter chapter 18. John chapter 18, verse 37. John 18, 37. It quotes and I read. Pilate therefore said unto him, Thou art a king then? Jesus answered, Thou said that I am a king. To this end I was born. And for this curse came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. John 18 37. So this is a discussion between Pilate and Jesus Christ just before crucifixion. And that brings us or brings us to discuss this topic into the depth of it. But with me today to discuss the topic is a great man of God, a man I've known for many years. He's been a wonderful seasonal preacher and a very known man, minister of, of the gospel, even to many people around us. Uh, I'm here privileged to have uh, Pastor Femi Oshi in the house. It's the bishop, by the way, so we call him Bishop Oshi. And welcome, sir. My pleasure to have you, sir. It's a great <laughs> opportunity. I greet everybody in the wonderful name of Jesus. And I say, as you hear, the power and the Spirit of God will hit you, and potential to fulfill purpose will be magnified in your life. Amen. Amen. That's so great. So just before we go further into the, I want us to just share a word of prayer so that our people can also, I mean, get into the spirit and understand this show with us. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says the voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the many waters. As we share the word of God, let the voice of the Lord go from this studio and reach every thirsty and hungry soul. At the end of this show, let there be fruitful manifestation. Let purposes be fulfilled across the world and let God take the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 That's wonderful. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. Now, purpose is one major thing. God does not play around with his resources. That is a fact we all know by now. And I haven't said that. I want us to look into that in, into the into the memory verse. Pontius Pilate, before he crucified Jesus, he made a, a, a profound statement to clarify the reason why Jesus was, was, was being crucified. And we saw that in John chapter 18, verse 37, while he was asking him if he knew what he is all about. And, and, and the answer Jesus gave to him became very, uh, I don't know, it's like he's trying to make the man being the one to discover his purpose. Or how do you see it? How do you uh, address that? If you look at the question, number one, it, it was a question that gave Jesus almost at the twilight of his career to, to re-establish his purpose. He said, to this end I was born. Mm. For this cause I came into the world mm -hmm. to bear witness of the truth. If I look at that statement, it means clearly 
From that, if you, if you were to ask, what was the purpose of Jesus? He came to be a witness of the truth. And he said it in John 14, 6. I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and, and the, the lies. John 17, 17. Sanctify them by thy truth. Thy word is it's truth. truth. So from that, you can know that Jesus was a man who knew the reason it was on the earth. Mm. And he said it clearly. He didn't mention it. And I will be asking somebody as we go, do you know the purpose why you are alive? Mm. Do you know the reason why your father is your father? Do you know the reason why your mother is your mother? Do you know the reason why you are a national of that country? Do you know the reason why you are a Christian? Matter of what I will say is, when purpose is unknown, failure is automatic. When purpose is unknown, unknown failure, failure is, is automatic. automatic. Now, 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 sir, at that point, I want us to just dive into it this way. Do you mean it is becoming or it is very essential for every human being, especially Christians, to discover purpose? Man of God, I will say this. No matter who you are, no matter what you are doing, one of the greatest assignments of every man is to understand purpose. And I will say this, man of God. It is shocking in the Bible, Genesis 1, 26. Mm. Even Jehovah knew the purpose why he wanted to create man. Mm. He said, let us. Make, make man, man in, in our, our own image, image. and after our, our likeness. Life. Why? That they may have dominion. Mm. If God would know the reason he is creating man, it is imperative for man to know why he was created. created. <laughs> That's, that's so profound. That's very profound. If God know why he it's, made man. Why so, would man not want to know why he was created? If the man who created him and said, he had to consult, say, let us make man in our image and mm, after our likeness. Mm. And man of God, don't forget, if, if, if you look at it critically, one of the reasons man was created was God wanted to do discipleship. He wants to do the discipleship. discipleship. What, what is discipleship? Man? When you say, I want to make men after my image and my likeness. My likeness. I want them to be like, like me. me. I want to make disciples of all nations. When Satan came and thwarted the attempt of Jehovah to make disciples, he looked down again and said, I'm sending my only son because my purpose cannot be defeated. Mm. He sent Jesus again. Satan to attack this discipleship, go and continue the, the same discipleship. So when you come to Jesus, you are just fulfilling what Satan to attack that was established in Genesis 1, 26. And in Romans 8, 29, said, to whom he did for no. He mm. also did predestinate to, to conform to the image, image of, his of it. the wow. same thing in Genesis 1, 26. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> you know we are in for a great moment and a very wonderful time. Please don't turn the dial, don't touch the dial, don't turn away from this channel. We're coming back just after this break. It's just a few minutes. for staying tuned uh, is still rtm you are watching search the scripture we call it search the scripture you call it sunday school either way it goes we are still 
digging deep into the word of God this morning. And today, I'm not doing this alone. I've got a great man of God, Bishop Oshi. Uh, and it's so wonderful. You, you've made some pronouncements that are very, very emphatic and very biblical as such. Because that's one of the things I, I, I dare people to, to, to do. That you don't just listen to words because they are suiting. Mm. You don't just listen to words because they are rhyming. Or they are cultural. They, they, they are cultural. Scriptural. Or popular. Mm. No, it's, not, it's not the way. If it's not scripturally based, it's just a fallacy. Mm. It's a fallacy. So I'm so excited. But before we go further, man of God, mm. I want to go into this reading of today. I'll read the text of today. It's taken from the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter number uh, 3. We're going to read from verse 12 to 14. Okay. Philippians 3 to 14. It quotes an I read. I'm reading the King James Version. It said, not as though I had already attained, either we are already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and re reaching and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Now, Apostle Paul is trying to make us a, uh, understand that a man of purpose is not at any point of a man of satisfaction. Mm. Tree fulfill their purposes. Mm. The birds fulfill their purposes. Almost everything, the creature of God, except man. Why is man struggling with their purpose or finding their purpose? Uh, man of God, if you look at Hosea 4, 6, mm. my people perish mm. for lack of knowledge. knowledge. Man of God, you can only fulfill what you know. You mm. and I sit here, if the cameras that are beaming on us do not know their purpose, they will not be fulfilling. It means we're not going to be seen mm. at all. If, a, a, if the man who manufactures a car thought that the car was meant to be in the sea, the car would not fulfill its purpose. Mm -hmm. Then it is imperative for me as a child of God that I should take conscious actions to understand why I was created. And I can never know why I was created except I consult my creator. Mm. And I cannot consult my creator except I go to the manual for daily living, which is the word of my creator. And as I pace through the word of my creator, I will begin to understand the reason that I was created. Because I was told in the scriptures, Jeremiah 1, 5, mm. he said, before mm. I formed thee, I knew thee. Yeah. Before thou camest out of thy mother's womb, mm. I have sanctified thee yes. and ordained thee yes. as a prophet, prophet. to the, the nations. nations. Now, that was for Jeremiah. I cannot generalize it. I can't mm. say because God said Jeremiah was a prophet, it makes me a Everybody prophet. A prophet. I, <laughs> no man will understand purpose except he prays mm. and he, 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 he buries himself in the word of God. Man of God, the word of God is just 66 books. But it has the capacity to tell the whole 7 billion people mm. their purpose. Wow. It's just 66 books. Now, the, the 66 books of the Bible, 39 in the Old and 26 in the Hebrew, yeah. they, they have the capacity to so tell the 7 billion people their purpose. So no matter who you are, no matter what you are, man of God, I, and I think we live in a system where even as parents, I, I'm going to talk to parents. Parents, it is good to send your children to school. But as you groom and rear your children, one of the things you must do for them is call, let them cultivate the habit to understand their purpose. Man of God, many things happen. Somebody would have gone to school to study mechanical engineering mm. up to PhD level. Mm. Then he let us say, no, I'm just having years that I realize I'm supposed to be a chef. If you have discovered your purpose from the beginning, you will not have wasted 10 years to do that. And I think we are, we are in a society where we think money is purpose. Mm. Do not forget, Matthew 12, 15, mm. he said, do not be confessions. Yes. For the life of a man is not concerned in the abundance of the things he possesses. possesses. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter the amount of money you have, you may not be fulfilling purpose. Isaiah 53, verse 10. 
The Bible says, it says, it pleases the Lord to bruise him, mm -hmm. to grieve him, mm -hmm. to make his soul an offering okay. for sin. So, yeah. He shall see his days, he shall prolong his life. For the pleasure of the Lord will prosper in, in his, his hands. hands. Mm. I say boldly, no matter who you are, you can be a president, but you may not be fulfilling purpose. Mm. The only time you are fulfilling purpose is when the pleasure and the will of God prospers in your hands. That is a good point. Because I, I, want, I want to touch to bring us to that Luke, Luke 12, 15. That is yes. very critical. Luke 12, 15, um, the, the, the man made so much money. Yes. He has exceeded the, 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 the assumed purpose of mm. planting. Because he didn't know. He didn't. And he was, so, he was so excited. I mean, that's okay. He was rich. Quote and unquote. But at the end of the day, God called him a fool. So there are many, or is it, is it, is it polite mm. to say this way? That without understanding purpose, fulfilling it becomes a, a, a dream. Man, man, what I would say that is, there are many billionaires who are like that rich, full man, man in the Bible. Mm. There are many businessmen who are like that rich, full man in the Bible. Because Excuse they me, thought their purpose was to gather money. Excuse me, sir. So it's possible for a person to be rich and still be foolish. No man of God, uh, you, can be, you can be the president of the whole world and be the, the most foolish person. Wow. You can be a billionaire in pound selling and still be foolish. Why? When many men get to the peak of their career, they begin to feel a void in them. It's like, oh, they will begin to say, I think, you know, it, 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 there's this situation of riches that makes you think that money translates to fulfillment of purpose. Mm -hmm. Like that rich fool man, in, in, in Matthew 12, 13 to 21, when he had accumulated money to him, he said, no, I, I don't want to do anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I will say this also to everybody listening to me. Please, the amount of money in your hands does not translate to fulfillment of purpose. Mm. There are many people, you have gathered billions that are wasting in your hands. There are people with thousands of dollars who are doing better than you are. And most people, man of God, they only gathered this money and kept them in back and not doing anything with it. Wow. But, but I think that is the nature of a natural man. Now, coming to Christendom as a Christian, is it supposed to be found or to be known amongst us as Christians? Because I, I think in most cases that a Christian who tend to follow the pattern Probably it's popular, it's cultural, it's just the way it is. Billionaires in the world are doing that. There are many Christians today that also have, or are suffering from the same nemesis of what you have just highlighted. Man of God, if you look at the second Corinthians 5.15, it says, mm. and it died for all, mm. so that all those who are died for should ends for not live for themselves, so, but should live for the one who has died, died for, them, for them and rose again. again. Yes. Man of God, you cannot fulfill purpose without a regenerated mind. Mm -hmm. And I can say this, a mind is not totally regenerated at best of being born again. A mind is regenerated through constant renewal of your mind. Mm. There are many Christians whose minds are not renewed. It, re regeneration is a process. Mm. Regeneration, continual renewal of your mind. When you become born again, man of God, it is only your spirit that is affected. Yes. Your soul needs to be regenerated. regenerated. So as you, re as you renew your mind daily, you, you, you begin to get open to the purpose of God. The, your yearnings begin to change. Mm. Your ambitions begin to change. Mm. You don't want to be like the rich fool. You don't want to live for yourself. Mm -hmm. if, if Philippians 1, 21, say, for me to live is Christ, Christ yes. to die Christ is, is gain. gain. Yeah. So you cannot fulfill purpose without living for Christ. That's, that's quite that's how it's pronounced. I'm so excited to, to, to say that and, and, and also to, 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 to ask this question that whose duty it is to discover purpose? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hear me and hear me clearly. It is your direct responsibility. If your father helps you, it is good. If your mother helps you, it is good. Your pastor may not even be be able to define your purpose for you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he has understood his own purpose fully? It is the duty of every man to discover his own mm -hmm. personal purpose. Man of God, it is very simple. I cannot know the reason I was created, except I go to my creator. creator. And my creator is the most generous creator in the whole world. Mm -hmm. He has given me a manual that if I dutifully consult, I would understand my purpose. And I will say this again, purpose is a process. 
that has a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. Purpose changes from season to season. season. Because somebody can say, no, I have known I should be a pastor. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a message? Mm -hmm. Do you have a people you are sent to? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying, man mm -hmm. of God? So I, I will still go back to what we were saying earlier. And if you look at this, man of God, Genesis 11. Mm where they were building the tower of Babel. of Babel. They said, let us make a city for ourselves Self, yes. with a tower up to the uh, heavens, heavens to make name for, for ourselves. ourselves. If you are not making name for Christ, you are not fulfilling purpose. Wow. If anything you are doing does not glorify Jehovah, you are not fulfilling purpose. Wow. If you are still living for yourself and your family, you are not fulfilling purpose, man of God. That's, that's so, so profound. You heard it all. The manual is the way out on this note we're going to go to a short break and when we come back we'll dive into the other areas how to discover purpose <laughs> for staying tuned. I'm happy that you're still here. It's such a great time. We're having fun. We're having great time with the man of God on this topic, fulfilling purpose. Fulfilling purpose. You can reach us, comment on this show, raise questions or ask questions on this particular topic. Reach us on any of our uh, uh, social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and you can also watch a repeat of this particular episode on our YouTube channel. It's RTM TV. Uh, RTM TV World on YouTube. You can get go there, check any of our previous ones or any of this one, and you can email us on our email address at Sunday School at redemptiontm.tv. Redemption TM. It's going to be on your screen as well. Please make sure you communicate with us. We'd love to hear from you. Now, men of God, we want to go into how do we discover purpose? How do, does a person discover purpose for our life? Because what you're saying, purpose becomes a must. Mm. If you are not in purpose, anything you might have done is a waste. How do I, do? what are the steps? Man of God, if you, if you cannot discover Christ, you cannot discover purpose. Great. And when you discover Christ, you must discover something. The unlimited potential of Christ. Mm. That is why in Ephesians 4, 7, it says, one is given every gift according to the measure of that which is in Christ Jesus. Jesus. I would say that it's a consolation Faith. that the platform and the basis for fulfillment of purpose is in Christ. Mm. And since Christ is unlimited, no matter what you want to achieve, man of God, it's like you're saying, somebody has been given a blank check to write whatever amount of money he requires mm. because the payee mm. is so rich that he can give unto you everything. Mm. So if I want to really discover purpose, I must first know that I, can, I must know Christ. I must know the amount of potential that is in Christ. And the potential of, the potential of Christ is my potential. Great. Man of God. It, and the day that hits me like thunderbolts, wow. and there is a floodlight that I receive, <laughs> that the potential of Christ is my potential. potential. One thing is certain, there is no power, no principality, no throne, no dominion, mm -hmm. no institution can stop me from fulfilling purpose. But if you don't know your potential in Christ, you are likely to be intimidated mm. and be victimized and mm. be thinking, maybe I may not be able to. <laughs> To fulfill purpose. Now, potential becomes very key. Mm -hmm. Now, in a, in a, I, I've discovered my potentials. I, I know what I'm good at, what I do without stress. What else will make me understand that this is actually the purpose why I am born into this world? Man of God, after you have discovered your potential in Christ, you must have passion. It was said concerning Jesus Christ, he said, the zeal of his father's house has consumed Zoom. in. Oh, wow. And when it was going to Jerusalem, the Bible says, and they went forth to Jerusalem with iron will, a will that cannot be broken. Jesus Christ was so passionate that he made almost one of the most negative statements in the Bible. He had to call Satan. He had to call Peter Satan. Mm. Satan, get thee behind me because you want to affect my passion to fulfill purpose. Mm. Christ mm. had mm. one of the most unstoppable passion. 
to fulfill his own purpose. Anybody, anything you are not passionate about, you cannot be successful. If Jehovah who created us mm. was passionate yes. about making disciples, that's right. He, he, he did it in Genesis 1 26. Mm. Satan came to thwart it. Passionately, he sent Christ again that I am not giving up on my purpose to make man to have dominion. Wow. I'm going back again. I'm wow. sending Christ. Wow. With all the Pharisees, wow. the Sadducees, the scribes, wow. the Sahendrin, everybody trying to stop us. His passion and the force that is behind him who made him almost unstoppable. That's great. Terrific. Man of God, ask yourself, <laughs> if my God was passionate, if Christ was passionate, passionate to fulfill their own purpose, why am I not passionate? <laughs> if God had to be passionate to fulfill his own purpose, why would you not be passionate and you think you are going to fulfill purpose? Anybody who lives a very dull life, a passionate life, you are an accident about to happen. You cannot not be passionate about your purpose. Th th then do I say that it is only when you're passionate, you can actually pray passionately? Man of God, let me say this. Passion does one thing for you. There's something in English they call capability. Yes. It, it, it means ability plus how you are capping. Capacity plus ability. Ability. When you have not been passionate, you, there cannot be capability. Mm. Because your passion will bring out your capacity plus your ability. Mm. And, man of God, if you are not passionate, you cannot be prayerful. Because prayer is not convenient. Prayer is not no, man of God, not even to Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. He said, if thou be willing, let this cup pass over me. me. And now, if fulfilling purpose in God is spiritual, mm. prayer is spiritual. Let me say this. Fulfillment of purpose has nothing to do with physicality. It's a total spiritual thing. Mm. And the only spiritual resource... The, your fuel, that the only fuel that would that will allow your passion to continue is your prayer. prayer. Any man who does not pray cannot fulfill purpose in God. That's 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 so profound. Man, man of God, living uh, without prayer cannot make. It's it. like a car that wants to travel without fuel. How does it go? You can go nowhere. And can I say another one of God? <laughs> the prayer of yesterday cannot take you, it cannot be enough. Why do you, I will leave you with this? Why do you fuel your car regularly? So that it can move regularly. So why, so, so why won't you pray regularly? So that you can get to your purpose regularly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This is so great. Please don't go anywhere. We're going to move into the next uh, uh, lie before we, we, we close to today. And, and I'm believing God that the Lord will help us to actually accelerate everything that has to do with purpose. Prayer becomes very critical in, in our journey to fulfilling purpose. But then, I also believe in living to fulfill it. There are some things, there are common prompts that we need to observe. Without, without having to understand purpose there's no need for anyone to believe it and on that note we're going to go on a short break to come and discuss how we're going to be able to learn to live to fulfill our purpose You are still watching Search the Scripture. You call it Sunday School, we call it Search the Scripture. It's still the same thing. We are still diving and teaching and learning and also yearning to know more about fulfilling purpose. Our purpose is a must. Man of God, you did end on a very good note the last time that it is important for us to know three things that makes us to discover our purpose. Number one potential. is our potential. Number passion. two is our passion. Then Number prayer. three Prayer. The three P's are very important mm. for us to actually fulfill purpose. Now, how do I live to fulfill it? Thank you very much, man. Okay, number one, uh, if you want to live to fulfill purpose, um, I used to say, don't call 10311, don't call 911, <laughs> call 333. Wow. Jeremiah 33. 
verse 3. Call 333. If you want to live to fulfill, call unto me. I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. He creates you, and he said, when you call unto me, when you inquire, if you if you just suppose that with Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5, when he said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before you came out, I have sanctified I and ordained you, you as a prophet. prophet. You, if you want to live to fulfill purpose, you cannot not be calling on God from time to time. Man of God, that is number one. Number two, if you want to fulfill purpose, is I I I, I want I, I want to say this: a dog cannot fly. Mm. An eagle cannot be flying with dogs. Mm. I have seen most people, I was still advising somebody two, three days ago. I said, when I see your friends, I can predict your destiny. See me. No, I don't know. I don't need to see you. When I see your friends, I can predict your destiny. Wow. Because if you are not moving with people of like passion, mm. you are not likely to fulfill purpose. purpose. Now, another one, man of God. If you look at the life of Jesus, another lesson I want us to learn is Jesus submitted to somebody other than God the Father. That's right. He submitted to the Holy Ghost. Mm. He said, of myself, I do not. He said, as I hear of the Father, I do. Mm -hmm. There is no special purpose anybody want to, want to fulfill in life that you do not have more than enough qualified people that you need to submit yourself unto. For mentoring. So that means that nothing new under heaven. No, man of God. My man of God, and there is nobody who is starting something now mm -hmm. that God had not prepared men to mentor. He is the one who is refusing to look for them. So mentorship becomes key. Mentorship is imperative. Anybody wants to do anything before you, there are people who have gone ahead of you, prepared for you by God to guide you. When you follow mentoring, it means you stand on the shoulders of your fathers to see the future. You will see farther than them. You will see farther, farther than, than your fathers. fathers. <laughs> That's awesome. Because you're standing profound. on their shoulders. Profound. Profound. And in, 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 in saying that, mm. meaning that Jesus was actually living on the Father's propelling he said it many, to achieve his purposes. He said, when you see me, you see the Father. Mm. I do only what the Father asks me to do, and I get instruction daily from the Father. Man of God, another one. I, 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 I would use an acronym that is called SMART. S-M-A-R-T. In terms of fulfilling purpose, S stands for let your purpose from time to time be specific. Number one, let number two, M, let it be measurable. So that you, you can you can set it and say, let me measure it. Number three, let it be achievable. Mm. Number four, let it be realistic. Number five, let it have a target. That is smart. Mm. You set specific, measurable, achievable, and realistic goal that have target. Mm. Because many times when you don't do this, you don't know if you're winning or you are not. Mm. There are many people who say, I've got a purpose. Mm. And if you don't make it, even if you go to God, be specific with what you want him to do. And if you follow it through like that man of God, you are, you are more than likely to free purpose. No, 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 man of God. Live as if there is no tomorrow. Live as if there is no tomorrow. As if this I is the last time. I tell everybody every day, live as if tomorrow is not going to exist. Put all your all in every day of your life. The most, no matter what, the scarcest resources in the whole universe is time. And is the only resource that is given to man equally. I have not seen anybody who has 24 hours, one second. Nobody. Mm. Every other thing may not be given equally, but time has been given equally. So any man who really wants to fulfill purpose, be wise with your time. I say this, Jesus Christ, you three and a half years, to do a ministry that has lasted over 2,000 years. How much time is in your hands? Lord Jesus, have mercy. Man of God, look at it. <laughs> How much? So, at times, when you think of Jesus, you will subconsciously think it, it was a whole person. Mm. You would have forgotten this man, Jesus, was a young man who died at 33 and a half years. If a man had to die at 33 and a half, ministry of three and a half years, mm. and I is still living more than 2,000 years. Now you have got 30 years, 60 years, 70 years. 
you may not be able. Man of God, why did he just use three and a half years and he fulfilled it? Mm. He lived every day fully as if there was no tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, the one of the greatest enemies of purpose I have discovered is idle time. Man of God, wasting time, wasting time. And in this generation, uh, some of you spend more time on Facebook than the man who created it doing nothing. <laughs> I don't know what you are doing there. Statistically, <laughs> the man who created Facebook has never spent more than 15 minutes. They told us. Some of you, you live here, you live here. <laughs> you can't fulfill purpose by wasting time on Facebook. What is wrong with that? So you, you, you want to tell me that Facebook is not <laughs> is oh, man of God. this time for, for purpose fulfillment. Man of God, <laughs> except you are doing anything that has to do with your purpose, mm. you can't spend more than 10 minutes on Facebook. Just, for so, just, just to socialize. And I can tell if the youth are listening to me now, one of the greatest enemies of their purpose is Facebook, is WhatsApp, is Twitter, is BBM. Some people, when they want to sleep, they sleep like this with it. When they wake up, their Bible, they, they, they don't take their Bible, they take what? From, the, from yesterday's I do conversation, you continue. Man of God, I've read it. Mm. A youth of today spends six hours wow. on social media. Wow. How can you invest one quarter of your lifetime right. on frivolities on social media? Wow. And I, I told somebody jokingly, I said the reason in the times of Jesus they were able to fulfill purpose. There was no distraction, no social media. Mm. Everything was focused. No man of God. There, there is even no radio, no television. And we must I'd rather take advantage of these things and use them to our advantage and to help our purpose to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. This is really very profound. And I believe every one of us that has been listening and hearing what we've been discussing, fulfilling purpose, will have been able to benefit one thing or the other from this particular topic. And I say this to you, it is better to listen, to obey, than to sacrifice. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Men of God, with all you have said, being smart in achieving our purpose becomes very key. I want to read from the book of Malachi chapter three, I'm sorry, sorry Malachi chapter two, verse two, Malachi two, two, and it quotes and I read. Malachi chapter two, it said, if ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, say the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Mm. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. This is God's word. He said, when you hear stuff like this, you hear this kind of a message, you take this kind of a, of, 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 of a time to sit and listen to what God is passing across. It's not a coincidence or accident that you hear and you're listening to this today. But please, it's very important that you lay them to heart. And in conclusion, I want to read to you that so many people live and die without leaving any positive mark. You live and die without a positive mark is a wasted life. Be different. You are not a non-entity. On this note, man of God, I want to say thank you so much for coming through today and being able to share and expose the word of God in this manner. I will go home with something smart. Hallelujah. Make sure Hallelujah. you are smart with your purpose. Be smart and give him the glory. Be, be smart and give him the glory. Hallelujah. What is it not to end? Thank you so much for listening and taking your time to be with us on this show. We believe that next time we'll see you on the same channel, on the same station, the same time, and we know that by the grace of God, we're going to hear from you, you're going to write us, you're going to inform us, you're going to tell us more. Thank you so much, men of God. I will just ask for one more thing before you leave us here today. Please, can we just pray so that the blessings of the people may not be cursed because they are going to be a doer of the word. Father, we thank you, we give you the glory. Isaiah 14, 27. If the Lord of hosts has proposed a thing, who can acknowledge? If he stretched forth his hand, who can turn it back? Father, we know this is a day you have proposed and your people have heard your word. Power to fulfill purpose. Let it rest upon every viewer. In the name of Jesus, strength, grace, wisdom, to be smart and fulfill purpose will rest on all of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Let's continue this conversation on our social media. All social media platforms are available there. And if you want to drop us an email, send it to Sunday School at redemptiontm.tv. Redemptiontm.tv. It's all appearing on your screen. You can check us out on YouTube channel, Redemption TV World. Redemption TV World on YouTube. And I love to leave you and love you. To see you till next time. I love to say, God loves you and so, so do we. we.